Okay, let's do this thing. We've got a lot of reviews to get through here tonight. So let's kick it off with the SmackDown review. Live from Madison Square Garden tonight. SmackDown on the eve of the 20th anniversary of 9-11. Which they did have a video package um, uh, before, you know, starting the show tonight. Uh, basically, you know, just talking about it. Say it's, you know, it's a celebration uh, time. Saying, you know, it's been two years since they've been at MSG. Fans chanted uh, USA. Um, you know, it's kind of crazy, man. I think I was like in fourth, fifth grade when, um, 9-11 happened. So, never forget, uh, just want to say that. But, but a big night going on here tonight. We kicked it off with Roman Reigns, uh, Paul Heyman and the Usos coming out there. The bloodline, basically, Reigns asked Heyman, you know, when it comes to New York City, uh, WWE runs this place, okay? We run New York City. And, um, Reigns says, you know, who runs it? You know, I run New York City, okay? The bloodline runs New York City. We run Madison Square Garden, so y'all need to acknowledge me, which the fans did chant Roman, so people were digging him out there. Next thing you know, Brock Lesnar comes out, a huge mega pop he got coming out there. Got the flannel shirt on and whatnot, but he came down to the ring, got, you know, trying to get in Reigns' face, but the Usos was blocking him right there. Fans chanted, holy shit, then. They really were trying to censor out all the words and whatnot, because I didn't even hear the second thing they chanted um, after that, because Heyman says, I don't understand. You know, we can go after any title around here. Why go for the Universal title right now? But, uh, you know, Lesnar said, I got a question for you, Paul. Why didn't you tell Roman I was going to be at SummerSlam? Next thing you know, the fans end up chanting, you fucked up, you fucked up, which I didn't hear on my TV because they blocked it out, like I just said, but they chanting, you fucked up. Um, Heyman. <laughs> hmm. Sorry, I had to blow my nose right there. Like someone's coming out of it. But, um, Heyman basically, you know, he started telling Reigns then I didn't know. Reigns started staring at him then after that. Like, I say, you know, you didn't know it wasn't that. Reigns took his belt away from Heyman then. Him and the Usos left after that. And, you know, him in the uh, ring with Lesnar alone. Heyman, you know, like, you know, ladies and gentlemen, you know, the reigning defender, you know, Barack Lesnar, which everybody went along to it. And, you know, Lesnar, you know, he smiled and clapped. Yeah, that was great, man. That was like old times. But, you know, before Roman Reigns fires you, accept my challenge, please. As Heyman says, what challenge? My shot at the title um, against Roman. And, um, you know, you got five seconds, all right? And as Lesnar counted from five to one, um, Heyman tried to get out of it. Uh, Paul, um, he picked up Paul, I think, at two. He was about to put him in an F5, but Lesnar came, not Lesnar, but Reigns hit Lesnar with a Superman punch, saving him from out from that point. Um, Reigns, uh, you know, tried to go for another one. Lesnar caught him in. Usos came in and up super kicking Lesnar, but. Um, Lesnar took both of them down, hit them both with German suplexes and whatnot before, um, you know, Roman and him got out of Dodge then. So a big opening to kick off the show. Huge pops out there. Come on, even Reigns getting a lot of cheers in the beginning of that segment, especially when they chanted his name. But um, Lesnar just got, obviously, the biggest pop of the night, okay? Biggest pop of the night. So, you know, will he really, you know, um, will the challenge be accepted and whatnot uh, by Roman or Heyman for the title and whatnot at some point? Huh. <clears throat> Reigns is walking in the back then with um Paul Heyman and um you know Reigns and end up going in the dressing room. Paul Heyman was still out there. And once again, Caleb Braxton just hanging around and uh, he says, you know, you're some Jersey girl and whatnot. Uh, you could ask the questions at the wrong time. Are you gonna respond? And he said, Well, we'll respond at a more appropriate time, okay? Um as they went back to the ring then, Nakamura and Boobs were coming out there. It's your Sami Zayn who had a New York Knicks uh, jersey on. Saying he loves New York. I think the last time he was MSG, he got choke slammed by The Undertaker. But um, next thing you know, he brought out Trey Young, who got big heat because basically since he's from the Atlanta Hawks, they eliminated the New, the New York Knicks from the uh, playoffs game. My friend even told me, I think they said, uh, fuck you, Trey, when they, he, they, you know, when he did eliminate the um, Knicks from the playoffs. So this dude got mega heat out here. So they really do hate this guy. Um... I know it was a 10-man tag because it was Big E, Nakamura, Boogs, Rey Mysterio, and Dominic versus Sami Zayn, Otis, Gable, Rude, and Ziggler. I know they got um, uh, Trey Young did get involved, pulling out Ray um, and whatnot, which uh, the fans boo and they ended up kicking him out. Uh, basically, you know, Ray, I think him and Dominic hit a double 619, and then Big E hit the big ending onto um, Sami Zayn for the win right here. So, um Biggie and him won his 10-man tag. 
Uh, next in the interview, Biggie, what's next, fam? And he had the Money in the Bank briefcase. You know, um, this, ain't, this may not be the last time you've seen me tonight, okay? I could be going for Roman Reigns. I could be going for Bobby Lashley. I could show up this Monday on Raw. I could be back here later tonight. I can challenge anybody right now. So you going to feel my power whenever, whoever he faces at that point. So good promo from, um, uh, good, <coughs> excuse me, um, good promo from, um, Big E out there, so at some point, we'll, he'll cash in that Money in the Bank briefcase. Uh, I know they still play a promo for NXT 2.0. I'm like, uh, 2.0? Are we in 3.0? 4.0? I mean, .0 is already in NXT right now. But um, next, you know, Bianca Belair came out for the contract signed for Becky Lynch at Extreme Rules. Bianca was already in the ring. Uh, well, she had an entrance also. But, you know, she's going to sign the contract. And, you know, she talked about being Madison Square Garden right now. And now, you know, she's going to be in the ring with Becky Lynch. She says she respects her and everything. She would never run from a fight. But things have changed now. And I don't respect her as much as I used to. So, I'm going to have to beat some respect back in, uh, when I win back my title. Uh, Becky came out then wearing this giant red fur coat and some glasses. So, yeah. Um, heel Becky, folks. Um, saying the original WrestleMania main eventer is here. Okay? And, you know, you got starstruck by me at SummerSlam. And you're a fan of the man. You know, it's no shame uh, sitting out here with the regular people and whatnot. But, um, as Becky, uh, so said, you know what? I don't feel like signing this contract. I don't, what if I don't sign it? I don't gotta sign this thing. Why do I need to sign it? But, um, Sonny DeVille says, sign the contract. Then Beyonce like, sign the damn contract. Okay, sign it, which the fans started chanting in. And, you know, hey, hey, hold on a second. While I was gone, you all were chanting, we have no, you know, we want Becky when I was at home, huh? Or me being a last minute, uh, notice and whatnot, uh, beating this her in 26 seconds and, and whatnot. Now you want to... Treat me bad. She basically went on and said, I left my baby girl at home for you people. I came back. But you're going to choose this flash in the pan over me? And, you know, if I can't join them, then I got to beat them in. And uh, basically, like, you got your match then. It's going to end the same way. And Becky ended up signing the contract and throw it into the air. And Bianca ended up catching it then. So, um, Becky, heal Becky, folks. Heal Becky. So, um, they're going somewhere with it. They are going somewhere with it. Um, next, uh, Paul Heyman, who was walking around on his phone, uh, I guess he ran a shot seeing, uh, Tegan Knox, who were riding, saying if she needed a ride, which they drove away with their tank then since he didn't need the ride. Caleb Braxton shows back up. Caleb Braxton versus Paul Heyman's gonna be at some point, um, which is why do you keep coming around me, okay? And, um, Heyman, uh, basically said, you know, Reigns are gonna... Him, we're going to watch his cousin spin her tag titles tonight. And we're going to answer the Lesnar challenge later in the show. And, you know, whether it's yes or no. I just love a, a good cliffhanger. And Heyman turns around. Not a good night for Paul Heyman. Biggie standing there holding that money in the bank brief briefcase. Uh, just, you know, laughing and giggling again. So, Heyman, he's just running in a lot of trouble tonight. Next, we get a SummerSlam rematch between Edge and Seth Rollins. Uh, Edge, never thought, I guess, um, he hasn't been in the garden, I don't know how many days at this point, but, um, I know they had a tally number for it. A very good match, I would say mostly match of the night and whatnot, the rematch between Edge and Seth Rollins. Um, very good, uh, just like I said, very pay-per-view, uh, pay-per-view quality match, fans did chant. This is awesome during this match, I know that. Uh, I know the referee had, you know, um, got caught in between Rollins and Edge of the turnbuckle. Uh, Ron's in a nut shotting um, Edge then, and he super kicked Edge several times. He even says, why won't you die? He super kicked him one more time, and he hit the curb stomp on him for the win um, after that. And I guess EMTs had to get Edge up out of there, which he wasn't stretching to an ambulance then. And, um, you know, they asked um, Ron, how do you feel? Which, you know, I said, you know, I, I, don't, I don't know how to feel or what I did. So I'm like, I did it. I beat him. So, you know, I, I just don't know how to feel. So, I guess, I don't want to say 50-50 booking, but it is, but... Obviously, both of these two have a win apiece, so um, the rubber match will be happening at some point in time, okay? That's what's going to happen. Um, Roman and them were in the back saying that we run New York. Uso said we're going to make the family proud when we defend the tag titles tonight. And then he looked at um, Reigns and Heyman and says, I saved you. Why don't you just tell me Brock was going to be at SummerSlam? Which, Heyman didn't say anything. Um, in the main event, we got the Usos versus Street Profits for the tag team titles. Very good match. I know you had, um, you know, Roman out there watching, but unfortunately, I guess we got a bullshit finish right here. Uh, Reigns coming in, uh, basically saving his cousin's uh, tag titles out there after uh, Montez hit the, uh, you know, big frog splash. Um, Reigns put um, four into the guillotine in after that. 
He got a microphone. If Lesnar wants it, he's going to get it, okay? He would smash um, Lesnar. And uh, as soon as he's done smashing, you know, Finn Balor and whatnot, next thing you know, the demon version of Finn Balor showed up. So the demon Balor is back. And I guess he's going to be facing um, Roman Reigns at Extreme Rules. So instead of regular Balor, who was beat up before the match last week, he had to stare down with Reigns. We got the Demon. So it's actually great to see the Demon again. We didn't really get to see the Demon back in NXT. But I am kind of glad that the Demon is there. And the crowd was um, excited to see him out there too. So Demon Balor versus, um, you know, Reigns. I guess it's going to be Extreme Rules. So we did tease it last week. But... Overall, very good episode of SmackDown, especially being in Madison Square Garden tonight. They had made sure they hyped this card up last week with some really, you know, um, big things happening. Um, you know, from Brock Lesnar being here, from Edge versus Rollins too, uh, to uh, Demon Balor returning. So, uh, Trey Young, major heat out there. Uh, they had a lot on SmackDown tonight, okay? Big E teasing the money in the bank, uh, you know, if he's going to cash in or not. So, in the contract sign between Becky and Bianca. So, a very good show tonight with SmackDown. Very good show tonight. So, um, that's all I would say about it. So, yeah, overall, like I said before, very good show. But comment, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, at HoodandNight890. Uh, tell me what you think about this show. Uh, still got our reviews coming up. Got to get that Rampage and Impact review in also. But, yeah, that's my review of SmackDown tonight. So, other than that, I'm out of here. See you guys later. Peace, and uh, also check out the Urban Wrestling Network, too. Got a lot of reviews on there, also. Check that out right now. Out of here. Peace.